today we're gonna be more focused on the idea of coaching this player on top of pointing out his mistakes and pointing out the positives because a lot of these Edo hells at least for the youtube viewers you've been a little um what's the word a little critical of the fact that i am critical and it makes you guys sad so we'll be a little bit better about an overall view of this person who's trying to do Elo hell we are doing create craft today the lobby we are in is a diamond masters lobby it's a low masters masters is a stretch it's 2k mmr to 2400 mmr which is technically diamond like three to diamond one craft is diamond four but he's very low mmr 1895 which is border basically he's plat mmr he's currently five and six since the split which is seven days ago i think was a reset or are we going to week two it might be we might be close to week two right of the reset i don't know but we're doing create craft i'm actually he's apparently an assault gamer too um i think he's an adc i've had him in a few games pts and other places so we'll see how that plays out i don't know i don't know what 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 to expect from this we haven't done a ton of adc games the lobby's pretty solid decent players on both sides a lot of names you recognize i know the last one iron alloy was in it and people were like no not iron playing agni again so he's probably playing agni again they didn't ban it and uh, we'll see how he stands up the one thing i do like about knowing the people in these lobbies is the fact that i have expectations for that he's not playing agni he heard me shit talking him he heard the trash talk boys All right, so they're set up ADC. Uh, that's Al Kwong solo, Baka jungle, Shiva support. And we are on board with CreateCraft, who is going a Death Toll into a Spike Gauntlet. So we'll see if he actually upgrades the, the Death Toll or sells it for more pen late game. Streaming will never die. That's why I am confident that I could always get into something else. I mean, I know everything about this in industry. I handled my own contracts for 10 years. I did esports for eight years. I've streamed YouTube, ticked. Like I've done it all. Did I ever get bored with working out? Yeah, dude, I play TFT. I, I, now I ride, I ride the bike for like 15 minutes and I go pretty hard, but I'm playing TFT. And then I play TFT in between each set. So like on TFT, I'll move my units around and then I'll do a set and then I'll quick move my units around and then I'll do a set. I take like a 30 second to a minute break in between each uh, and just go. Dude, I hated riding the bike like a week and two weeks ago and now riding the bike is easy as fuck. Like five minutes was the struggle for me and I'm at 15 minutes and it's more of I just don't feel like riding anymore. I'm not really tired. All right, Shiva being hyper aggressive, create craft. I don't like that he rolled away right there. It's obviously the safer play, but I think he freaked out a little bit. He should have tried to control the lane. The aggressive Shiva is going to be a pain in the butt for them, but they just got first blood too. Mid lane Anubis, easy. Uh, TFT out of my phone. I play on one account. I'm almost gold on my phone. As I only play when I work out. And then on my main account, I'm almost plat. You play TFT while doing cardio? Yeah, it's, I can't do cardio if I'm not. I, I could watch a show or play the game, but the game is just easier. This is a 22 k MMR to 2400 MMR lobby. Most of the people in this lobby are 22 to 2300. And then our player is 1900 MMR Diamond 4. So I didn't put him in a really crazy gapped lobby. I just want to see if, you know, he's good enough to be a Masters player. His, his team is clapping in mid lane. Team fight tactics, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard rumors of Tarkov being wiped on Thursday. So if Tarkov wipes on Thursday, you guys will probably catch me doing a really long stream Thursday and Friday. Because I'm going to the beach in a couple weeks, so I got to get my gaming in. This is a good rotation from the jungler. Or from the mid laner. That's not even a jungler. A little questionable in these rollouts. I'll be honest with you. Good job. Him getting the kill there is big for him. Give him some confidence. Did his Yorm get banned? I think so. I'm pretty sure every time he's in a lobby, they ban it. Rogue, that's not ever going to happen. It took you like eight months to, to get close to Kappa, you troll. It was banned? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess I can check the bans. I'm trolling. Oh, yeah. Yorm long gone, boys. Is he backing for a full item already? No. Backing for his tier two.
He was full everything, so I'm not even sure how I feel about that right now. I guess matching is fine, but he's going to lose, lose pressure. The assault bike? I don't know what that is. My wife has a Peloton, so I, I, I throw in the Peloton. There's this one dude, Alex, that does like hip-hop classes a lot. I'll turn it on and do where the music's louder, and I kind of follow along while, uh, while playing TFT, but for the most part, I'm kind of just doing my own thing. I like the wider mid lane. I kind of do, actually. I don't mind the mid lane being wider. The map changes that bugged me are how wide the jungle pathing is. This is strange. The support should be rotating over here to help him get the buff. I don't like that the support's not walking over here. He, this is also really rough for him. And this isn't necessarily his fault. Uh, okay, this is this is weird. He's trying to get it away from the Shiva. So he's going to lose goal. Oh, it just reset. Yeah, he's, he's doing some weird stuff right now. could be good this is real good hakuna's super out of position that's a bad play from the shiva he stayed for so long for no reason and purple's still up the thing with him being in an elo hell series is a lot of the elo hell people just want to play safe but as an adc that's he just needs to play safe and play for late game so i can't even it's not a fault it's on the downside smart TFT is like, like a game where it's competitive, but it's, I don't know. It's kind of like you versus yourself while pe like playing other people. Where a game like Smite and everything is, uh, is definitely your teammates and you versus everybody else. And that makes it frustrating. I love that he came to help and didn't, he jumped away, but I hate that he rolled into this. Yeah, and now he's just waiting too long. You don't roll into that as an ADC. He entered. That's on him too. That's not his team baiting him. He didn't need to roll into that. He just had to be there if they needed help to get out. So that was a really bad play from him. My favorite comp in TFT. Honestly, I hate TFT right now because it's just Zeke's. It's auto attack carries and nine Zeke's on, on every team that wins. Or people run nine, eight void. So both those comps are old. I'm tired of seeing them already because I've played so much. The rogue comp is cool that people are running. The Cassandra with uh, snow cones or without ice cream cones, whatever, and then the rogues next to it. I like that. I think it's a dope comp, but I haven't running it. I'm just sick of Zeke's and TFT. It's just a million Zeke's. It's no skill. And with uh, what's it called? You automatically get Zeke's with Twisted Fate. Rogue Slayers. They don't always run Rogue Slayers. They just run some kind of rogues with uh, whatever the girl's name is. I forget her name. Oh. You got beads. That's good. That's a long dash. Oh, baby. His dash is going to be on a long cooldown. So I want to see if he challenges here. When the Heimdall's back, he better look for a fight. He needs wards too. He hasn't warded at all, which I hate. He wants to play safe, but he doesn't ward. TFT is teamfight tactics. is an auto battler from League of Legends. From Riot. It's honestly not that hard to learn. And like, even if you're bad, the game is fun. Because I'm not good at the game. I'm not terrible, but I'm not. I'm still trying to figure out how things are, are meant to be played. Dude, this Pele is everywhere. Four and one. That's a bad thing, though, for them. Because if he dies once in the mid game, they're screwed. Oops, I'm going to do that. This is the aggression I was hoping for, but they should have got a shield buff. Gave it up. I love too that they're he, oh I thought going to Shiva him swapping there I was bad that was not good like why did he he knows Shiva just dashed and the Shiva's already poked out he's damaged checked the Shiva he's altered him a bunch he knows he hits him I don't know why he did that no confidence hold on this is Athena not of a Sunder shell Athena guys go Sunder please this isn't the SPL where they fight you know, once every fucking 30 minutes, this is a rank style game where you're just W keying. You're, you know, seven minutes in, there's 11 kills already. Go Sunder. Get more kills. Have more fun. 
Will the build you posted in the Kali video today work on them? Uh, I wouldn't go an A build on them. I'd go a mix of ability cooldown and A because like Aaron Dite is pretty core on them. Steam is down, Wolf. If Steam is down, you should be able to go in and type dash no Steam under properties for Smite and it should be able to open without Steam being live. I did a counter build video, by the way, on YouTube today. For those of you who've been asking for counter builds and how it works, I explained every role, broke down where the counter building applies and you know how you should be looking at it. Did we find an Elo Hell Prodigy? Yeah, actually, I played with a with a jungler who was pretty good, but I haven't played with him since. I only played with him one night. This Pele's a viewer bash and sealer, dude. He's carrying. He's got to keep up the lead. I've taught D-Lizard well. Okay, he sees the whole team here, right? He sees the Shiva. You're, 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 bro, you're trolling your awareness. He met that Shiva just really butchered his pull on you. He should have completely countered your rollout, but you got to pay attention, dude. He saw the Shiva right there, right? Like out of the, off the side. I don't know. That was weird. So if you want to do no steam, you open up steam. You go to your games, you go to smite, you right click on smite, you go to properties. At the bottom of the thing, the box that pops up, there's a commands like section where you can type. Type a dash, no spaces, dash, no steam. All one word, all one thing. And then it should, oh, you, you'll have to log in to smite every time you log in. Or you can, you know, save your login. It won't go through steam anymore. Oh, oh he sees him. Ciao, ciao, bro. Show me what you got. Show me you're as good as this ADC. I guess there's some risk in doing that because if he loses, then he looks bad. He doesn't know it, but he's standing on a ward right now. Oh, he definitely should have traded with the ADC. He could have kept him from getting wave farm very easily. He could have locked him out of the wave and just messed with them, taking a fight. What's up, infested? I was vacation, dude. Oh my goodness. Six and one on the Pele. Not a super fan of his build, but not hating on it, I guess. You build tanker damage on Nemesis? I'm not going tank on anybody right now in rank games. The tank meta is here for sure and going tank is the cleaner way to play but if you're trying to actually hard carry you're not going tank or not going hybrid i guess would be the better way to, better way to put it only a dude they only have a 400 gold lead with a four kill lead what How Kong is farming? Big, big, big. Went to North Carolina, visit some friends. Hey, nice. So I'm gonna account, alt account in gold. Oh, Shmeepo. Shmeepo's a master's gamer, dude. No time for gold games. Oh, he's afraid. I think he's, I assume he's not actually afraid of the 1v1. I think he's worried about the gank. So this is smart of him to be like, okay, this guy's all of a sudden w me. There's probably someone here. Has he placed a single ward? I don't think so. Actually, wait. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He countered too. I think one of his wards, is, one of his three wards is a counter ward. And so it begins. Oh, wait, maybe not. Okay. Okay. Take your time. Take your time. There you go. 
Pele shut down and it went to disco. Don't dive this. Don't dive this. Relax. Farm, farm, farm. I had like, oh, nice beads. Roll. roll. Oh, he caught his roll. <laughs> create. All right, create, bro. You should have not been there. You should have path underneath, cleared the wave, focused on farm instead of looking and staring at the tower. I coached somebody today. We did a, a like live one-on-one -on -one coaching. And when I coached them today, the biggest thing I wanted them to stop doing was fighting for no reason. And it, like halfway through the game, they all his team got a lead and he just about blinked in and kind of did what he just did and just started looking for a kill for no reason, uh, which would have thrown the whole game and kind of just threw all of his lead. Because now he is definitely behind this Heimdall. He's actually going to be severely behind, I think. He's halfway to 13 and he's halfway to 14. Yeah, he's he's in a pickle now. If I could have any item brought back to smite, what would it be? Uh, the old golden bow and how it worked. Old golden bow, bro. Dude, there's no way you want boots back, man. I hate when you guys say that because you have to be big old trolls. Boots were so boring. Everyone built the same item for no reason. It was just the most dumb fucking thing ever. Even when they had the three different boots and they were actually viable, it was still boring. I'm going to watch the rank one rat after this and then we're going to do another elo hell. People love nostalgia. They forget whether it's bad. I, I think people just don't even understand why it was bad. All right. You got to fight this guy at some point, man. You got to throw some autos and just see how it goes. What's builds looking like? Oh, the Heimdall's going pure AA too. He's, yeah, he's, they're, they're the exact same builds. This play up, play into him. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, He's in a predicament here. Wait, it won't let me follow through that? That's really annoying. So he's just dead off that combo. I was hoping he was going to react and just ult the ult or something. And he was planning, <laughs> planning out of that. But I guess him having beads down, he wasn't planning it. Would I accept a kick contract if it was a couple million dollars for two years? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. A couple million dollars would would uh, make my life very, very... Like, my life is already fairly simple in terms of what I like to do. But it would it would change a lot. It would be helpful. Be able to invest a very good chunk of my money. And not have to worry about shit anymore. See builds? Yes, sir. Aokwong is going to chunk. He's going a mixed build. Baka's getting online. Pele's falling off slightly. You see him selling the, or not selling, going from the tier two instead of finishing the crusher, going into the cloak, the Magi's. Oh, I did. Ooh, Set is playing Achilles. No, you know how to play Achilles. What would I do with, I don't use protein powder. I hate protein powder for the most part. I have like one, one type I've liked out of the 50 I've tried. That was smart. I do not understand that about kick. Um, them going after the big boys and getting all the the press and like PR from it is obviously big and makes sense. But then aside from that, they aren't signing the bigger streamers from smaller categories or even looking at them. And that's just such an easy way for companies to make money. Sponsors don't do it either. So I know why kick doesn't do it because big sponsors don't do it Because I talked to like I'll talk to my sponsors or I talked to I have a management company that handles a lot of my shit now And I'll talk to them and they're like, yeah, people don't realize that like they sign you and then they cover the whole smite category Everybody knows about you know x sponsor just by having you and while smite's not a big game It's still up like hundreds of thousands of people that you 
you know control the market on people just don't the, i think the big companies just overlook it they don't they don't understand the numbers this is good play from Craft. I, I know he's getting poked there but the way he positioned this and played out of that box all it was smart he's just very hesitant i don't think he understands his power spikes and his damage no tunnel vision that's something i like too this is good oh if he gets the execute now they're all in trouble because this dude lands on them and they, they get clapped here this is a really bad fight he should back out he knows it's bad too you can tell by the way he hesitated use the ult to buy time but you're probably screwed here yeah you're screwed okay pele with the save big help him help the pele keep fighting oh my gosh the athena actually might have saved him i don't think they back off unless the athena ult's in there Oh, viewership would not be the same on kick, but it doesn't matter. Viewership can't be the same on kick. Twitch is established for 10 years plus. Kick is brand new. It shouldn't be the same. But I can say I've only shipped on YouTube once. I didn't promote it at all, and I had similar viewership to Twitch. So it's definitely there and possible. And it would be good for me because I can multi-stream from Kick and YouTube and just hit both my markets. Because there's a lot of people on YouTube that will not watch Twitch. I couldn't believe it. I didn't know that was a thing. But I had 800 people that were like, yeah, we'll, we'll never watch on Twitch. We don't touch Twitch. Only YouTube. He needs to start backing off a little bit earlier here. He can't hold his ground yet into the tanks. Careful. He definitely doesn't have the ADC presence. I don't think anyone's afraid of him. Look at this. Yeah, look, they're just running at them. They do not even care that he's here, dude. There you go. That's much better. Good. Yes, this is good. Oh, Yo, you see him? Wait, he just saw the Baka. Well, he did what he could there. Team two split and backed off. Mm, builds are normal. He's going dominance now. The Pele fell off, which has always been my problem with Pele. I'm not, people are like, why don't you say Pele is great? This is why. Pele does not do the same thing in the end game as she does in the mid game. Createcraft is now in big trouble. I think he is very much the weaker player in this lobby, but not by a lot. He needs to learn his power spikes. He needs to get his confidence. He needs to know his matchups. And I, all those things are where he's slacking right now. Yeah, look at this. He's so far down here because he's just afraid to fight. And when he is fighting, he kind of positions incorrectly. Like, he's not rolled out yet. He should have back rolled and just kept autoing. Playing Rama and not back rolling is strange. There you go. This is W key. Yes, keep going. Keep going. Don't be afraid. Just keep looking for farm. Come on. Okay, your wave, my guy. Your wave. Your wave. Your wave. Your wave. There you go. What's up, Soul? I've had a good day today. I I, I was supposed to take our golden retriever to the vet. Um, he's got some bumps that I don't know if they're gonna end up being. He's he's only six. So it shouldn't be cancer, but they could be cancerous. Uh, like, could be cancer stuff, or it could just be something else. But I was supposed to take him to get him checked today, but I didn't get the chance to. So I'm going to have to take him when we get back from the beach. Hey, good turn. Yes, don't be afraid. Oh, dude, this bot. Okay. That's, I, I like that he fought that. That's just the enemy team sitting on his nuts. But yeah, outside of that, today was a good day. I got to spend time with my son and my wife. I got a bunch of work done, worked out, did what I had to do. That's Mac. They told me the first time I saw it, it was real small. It, it was, it's like on the set right here on his chest. It, it was real small and they were like, yeah, it's nothing, but it's, it's like three or four times the size now. Uh, so I just wanted them to check it because both of my golden retrievers that I had before him died, you know, when they were 10 to 12 of cancer, it's just a normal golden retriever thing. Um, but I'm trying to stay ahead of the game.
for him. I ordered him new food. He's going to start eating like healthy, whole, like real food. And then if he does well with it, I'm going to transfer both of my dogs over to it. Did you just ask, is my butt bigger? Why are you looking at my butt, dude? That's sexual harassment. It's not cool, man. What's up, C? Thank you for the two months. Rama's ELO allegation. Um, I think he just said he was master's level. Uh, I don't think he's... I think his ELO is right. Um, or his rank is right. I think he could be a little bit higher ELO. I, I think he can play in these lobbies, but, but not consistently i mean he's three five and five right now he's kind of doing some some stuff but also just kind of existing he did legs today i did shoulders today i've gotten a lot stronger in the past three months which is cool to see like weight increasing and stuff but i don't want to do dieting and everything so i don't know if i'll ever see <laughs> you know the kind of results i would like to see overall I can't fuck with dieting. I can eat the protein and stuff that I need. I just can't mess around with eating not like a lot of the food that I like to eat. Is sub goal going down? Yeah, we're losing subs. <laughs> it's called sub decay, dude. Do I take creatine though? I bear I don't even use I have protein powder that I barely use. Carnivore diet? I can't. I, carbs are my favorite thing in the world, dude for dinner tonight i had crab legs okay th th this is gonna sound bad sammy randomly decided to get crab legs and lobster tails i don't know why so she got crab legs and lobster tails because they were on sale today and then some of the red lobster biscuits and i dumpstered those red lobster biscuits i had like seven of them intermittent fasting i basically do intermittent fasting but not on purpose because i go to sleep at 5 a.m i usually don't eat uh like after like i'll eat sometimes that right after stream but if i don't eat right after stream i don't eat and then I won't eat again until I'm done with work and working out, which is usually like three to four to 5 p.m. So I go a pretty big gap without eating. There's a channel to suggest content in my discord. Very okay. This is good positioning. He needs to make sure he doesn't get caught up though. His team had a great engagement here. His target, come on, come on. You, you're just standing here watching, dude. Okay, if you're playing an ADC, you should always be just left-clicking somebody. It doesn't matter who. You don't have to tunnel vision the target. Just whoever's in front of you, hold left-click on them. Get the tower. Dive with them. Dive with them. Dive with them. No. All right. I go to sleep at 5 a.m. Yeah. I go to sleep at 5 a.m. and wake up at like 11 or 11 a.m. or 12 p.m. Depends. Carb cycling? I don't know what that is. I'd have to learn. I don't know what it is. I just know the hardest thing for me to stop eating is carbs. I eat a lot of different foods, but carbs are big. Rice, bread. I like, I, I could, I'd rather just like eat a ton of that than anything else. I want him to get some confidence here and just steamroll. They're not focusing him very much. Uh, we need to talk to him about him instantly wanting to turn around. As an ADC, turning and running is almost always bad. You usually want to back off with your wall autoing. This is a good run. This is a little bit different. They've already lost the fight. But the beginning of a fight, you just got to hold left click, dude. He doesn't understand how strong he is. I mean, he's, he's full build pretty much. It's a lot of work. Like, what is it? What is what is carb cycling? Damage check. He's rising. He's kind of low, but he's rising. Granted, Heimdall is uh, yeah, Heimdall's up there. Net worth. He's doing all right on farm though. He's keeping up with Heimdall on farm, mainly because of his team. And then he is warding a lot, almost overwarding now. Ama doesn't get played right now. Ama's trash. Why people think they need to cut carbs to get a good results. Uh, I don't know the science behind it. I've just, what I've read and whatever talks about that being a big way to, uh, to eat more pure. 
and carbs don't have protein so when you're working out protein is usually the biggest thing outside of uh normal nutrients I do vitamins. Uh, I do. I do a vitamin D like supplement too. If I'm not going outside very much from fucking playing video games all day, and then eating. We eat good. Like I don't eat shit, but I'm. I don't think I'll ever diet. I just don't have an interest in doing like trying to diet or control my like how much of everything I'm eating. I do pay attention. All right. He's got to turn an auto. You have to turn an auto, man. Most of this game is him running. There you go, Rogue said. Cutting out carbs makes your body use fat for fuel. GG. <laughs> Play TFT, Smite sucks. Nah, Smite's fun. Smite's frustrating, but it's fun. They announced Worlds today. I don't know if you guys saw that, by the way. Worlds is back in Texas. The tickets are going to go on sale in January, or sorry, in July. Buy them. Buy them right away. The last Worlds was last minute, no prep. Nobody was like, you know, I'm going to save for Worlds. And they sold out in three hours. I think there's like... How many seats do they have? Like 2,500 seats, I think. And it sold out in three hours. So if you want to go, buy your tickets literally as soon as they're for sale. Worlds is in Texas again. Same spot as last time. Yeah, they literally sold out right away. I had people asking me for weeks. Can you get me tickets? No. Dude, I had to buy um, my ticket for Daedra. I had to buy off of one of my viewers. I could, they couldn't even give me a ticket for my my uh, like person who was filming. Worlds for me. I had to buy like a $400 ticket off of a viewer. You get faster, more appealing results if you meal plan workout. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not about meal planning. I will not eat the same thing every day. That's number one. And I don't have the time during the week to sit down and make food for the week at all. Like I don't have that kind of free time. I don't want to make that free time. I'm not really worried about looking super ripped or anything like that. I'm just worried about getting stronger and being healthier. When I went and got my blood test done, I had no problems. Like my blood test, everything was good, but I was like borderline for a lot, for a couple of things, not a lot of things, for like two or three things. And it was basically working out would fix them. So I just started, as soon as I saw that, I started working out every day. <sighs> I'm already sponsored by Factor for this month. I've been sponsored by them like eight times. Factor meals are dope for that, but Factor meals aren't enough food for me. Factor meals are like a late night snack. They're not a full dinner for me. Yo, your positioning, his positioning is so bad in these fights. He doesn't play around who he can see, who he can't see, and who's in front of him. He kind of just looks at somebody, throws some autos, and then he's dead instantly. He needs to S key auto more while autoing too, which is usually the opposite. Most people don't W key auto enough. Coaching on Discord. So my coaching on Discord is two levels. There's a base level where there's a channel and you have access to me to ask questions, post links, you know, clips, whatever for, you know, help and tips and whatever you could possibly want coaching wise. And then the second level is one-on-one -on -one coaching where I watch a video, I give you a bunch of tips. Then we sit down, you do, we do live one-on-one -on -one coaching. And then after that, we, I wait like a week or two, you give me another video and I give you more tips. Um, that's more expensive it's 200 for that uh per month if you want to keep doing it you can just do it one month if you want that price is gonna go up i'm spending like like three hours between watching the 50 minute gameplays and doing notes and then watching you play and then doing notes and then you know watching another one so that price is gonna go up it's gonna go up a lot more than likely uh pretty soon factor is not a perfect portion meal it's perfect for some people. I'm 6'5", 240. Factor is not enough for me. It's a snack. And factor meals are delicious. But I add like rice and other things to my factor meals. I have minute and a half rice, like Uncle Ben's shit. And I add that to my factor meals almost all the time. Why don't I have higher ELO community members help with coaching? I don't know how open people would be to that, to be honest.
would two factor meals be enough? Yeah, for sure. That would probably be a little more than I need. But one is I can I can eat one like it's nothing. I don't think people realize how many calories you need to eat when you're my size just to maintain like base base, you know, life. No, you're good, Anominate. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying, I, for me, it's, you know, it's different depending on your size. I'm not normal size. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. I'm bigger than most people. What rank is this? Elo L? He's 1900 MMR. The lobby is up to 2400 MMR. Um, masters. Who pay you for coaching? Why wouldn't you pay me for coaching? I've been playing this game longer than most people. I've played at the highest level for many years. Um, hit the highest rank and ranked multiple times. I know more than anyone. If you're trying to get better at something, I'm the perfect person for it. He's struggling so much with this matchup. He can't deal with the Bach ults. He's freaking out. I mean, he tried autoing there through it, but he didn't react and ult properly or use any of his actives the correct way or go towards his teammates. And his teammates also just got clapped because Pele's not there. Pele's playing the one-man wrecking crew now. My thoughts on other MOBAs? I just don't like top-down MOBAs for me. I know they're good games. I've played all of them a lot. And I just don't like top-down MOBAs. They don't suck me in. You know how most people play video games and you forget about the bullshit around you? Well, when I'm not streaming, that's how I am. Like, I forget about, like, it's, it's a good escape. And they've never were an escape for me. Ever. They just felt like poop. Bro, it's so weird when people are like, who would get coaching? Bro, how many people from ages 5 to 25 get coaching in every sport? Why is getting coaching in a video game weird? Why is that not the exact same thing to you? Or do you not play sports? Do you not understand coaching in sports? Because coaching in sports is way more expensive than coaching in video games, by the way. It's not even close. It's not even relatively close. Because like a camp for you to go to like a basketball camp where you don't get real one-on-one -on -one coaching and it's multiple days, you're paying like thousands of dollars for that shit. It's like the mo it's so normal. Don't contest this. Don't ever go in. If you're the ADC, let your teammates go in first. Don't be greedy. It's this late in the game too. You don't even want to all for that. So I'm glad he didn't. That was smart. What's up, Migs? I think, honestly, like, it's kind of messed up and people get offended when you say it, but I think people don't have money to do things that they want, so they judge people who spend their money in ways that they want, and it's cringe. Just because you can't afford something or it isn't something you would spend money on doesn't mean it's not exactly what someone else wants to do with their money, and it's not your money, so you don't get to decide. Most people just they waste their money on other things and then they act like it's fine like you spend alcohol money on alcohol you spend money on weed or anything like that because like that's money that i think is stupid i think you're wasting your money but i don't judge i don't care you do whatever you want it's your money this is good positioning he's behind his mage playing off of his mage this is perfect this is perfect listen to the blink yep 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 listen to your teammates play with them nice there you go that's oh oh he's dead Okay, so the second the Baka ulted him at distance, if he ults, he doesn't die. He actually wastes the whole Baka ult. So he needs to react faster with an ult rather than an Aegis. Policing people what they buy is lame. It is. It's pretty cringe. How do you even coach someone in in RL? What, Rocket League? Is that what you're saying? Or are you saying in real life? Real life coaching is more policing. People go get real life coaching when they're struggling to discipline themselves, basically, and they need people to, you know, guide them while also making sure they stay on whatever path they're looking to be on. I, I, I can never do real life coaching, dude. I'm way like, dude, focusing on someone else's life. I, I just rather focus on mine and make sure my things stay in order. 
How much money do you need to, to say you have fuck you money? Nowadays, I feel like 10 to 20 million is where you start to have fuck you money. The way I look at it, and I, t I talked to Sammy about this other day. Um, you need to have, it, to have fuck you money. When someone tells you no, you need to be, have enough money to be able to donate to some cause or something that'll go around that person that tells you no. And to have that, that you're talking like like 10 to 100k donations depending on the thing will get you there and i feel like if you have 10 to 20 million then donating that much isn't shit that's a lot of money and that's just like the starter like think about the people that have yachts that are like 200 million they pay they those people spend like 5 million a year just to run their yachts so like, that's crazy Oh, I wasn't watching create. My bad. Create's positioning better this time. No, keep autoing. Bro, he won't. Auto, 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 auto. Go, 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 go in. No, bro, please. They're one HP and you're running away with an Aegis and a Beans. What are you doing? Dude, all right. All right, bro. You see three people at 5% HP, one auto, and you run? That's crazy. He should have had a triple kill, been pushing for Phoenix. I think that he doesn't understand how much damage he can do. He he isn't confident in his damage because he doesn't damage limit. He doesn't limit test. It could be nerves, but I, I'm not using nerves as an excuse. You're signing up for this. So if nerves are a problem, then that's just too damn bad. Everyone has nerves at some point. You, you got to get over it. <laughs> to be as good as everyone else, you got to get over it. Test coaching cost your parents 120 an hour and it was very boring and hard. And who, but who were you getting coaching from? What was the level of experience of your coach? Because I think that's where people get lost. Like, like as much as no one wants to give me credit, I was a pro player who won lands. There aren't tons of people that did that, you know, like, <laughs> like there, there are, that's a, that's a very limited list of people, right? Whether you want to give that credit or not, that's that's my accomplishment accomplishments, right? So I get to charge that kind of money when I'm doing things. What up, lady? They've been 43 months, brother. What is his build? Normal. He's just got a normal ADC build. He sold his starter for Silver Branch. I think a big thing with video game coaching that's overlooked too is a lot of people who are coaching in video games just want to be better. They don't want to go play pro necessarily they just want to up their skill and play with their friends and be better than their friends it's not always about going to the elite level sometimes it's just about getting better and if you spend hours and hours and hours doing something getting a little bit better might be worth the money to you they get a dub here that was a way better reaction i i wish he had ulted Nice. I wish he had ulted earlier, like right when the Baga ulted, but that was a much better reaction. Finally, 42 minutes in, he's finding some confidence. Oh, auto, 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 clap, clap, keep going, W key, roll. Oh, he doesn't roll in. Nice. GG, they win. Finally, 42 minutes in, he found himself. It only took him having Fire Giant and full build to do it. That was much better, but the rest of the game was not much better. No, he's not bad. Like, he's definitely able 
if he improves himself, he'll he's definitely able to make masters. I don't think he's masters level now because he is playing an ADC and what some of the things that he did were just really not it. I mean, he ended up pumping out a lot of damage though at the end. He probably did five or six K damage in that last team fight. Uh, create, can you join Discord? That's the thing. Playing the way he did, he definitely won't carry in his Diamond 4 games. And we want to get him to the point where he's carrying in his Diamond 4 games so he can move up. <laughs> German, I got it. I got it. I got it, dude. I think I've done a hard job. Do I coach all roles? Yes, sir. That's another thing. This isn't me knocking you. But for some reason, there's this at a really low level of knowledge of the game. People think because I played pro jungle, I only know jungle. To play at a pro level, you have to understand you're watching film and studying every role. You have to know how every role works. You have to know damage spikes. You have to know defensive spikes. You have to know rotations. You have to know time. You have to know everything to play at a pro level. There, You can't get away at a pro level without knowing everything. So despite how bad my last two years were, like personally, my years weren't bad. Our team was bad. I played fine. Um, people don't realize that like that's information you have to have even to play at that level. All right, create. You hear me? Yeah, I am how, here. How do you think your game was? Um, I would say all right, but I'm kind of like since the new season, I'm scared of tanks a lot so yes i we could tell biggest thing i said the whole time was you don't know when you're powerful like you don't know your power spikes and when you're strong um i respect the passive play in lane and not going for fights because you're adc you want to play for late game but you have to limit test to know when you can beat people like you want to you want to get to masters right yeah. so you're gonna have to carry your games you can't carry your games just by you know existing through the early mid game you have to get yourself a lead, right? Um, so that's you limit testing. Go, go like, it's okay to die and lose some games or get behind and learn how to play from behind. Just limit testing. And when I say limit testing, that's like you finish an item. You want to see if you can win a 1v1 versus X Scott. So you learn your matchups. You learn how strong you are. You learn how to play them. You learn that by messing up, not by always doing everything right. So start doing that early, like earlier in the game, doing it more. Um, you warded a lot, which is good. Uh, maybe ward a little bit less because you're, I wouldn't say you're over warding, but you're borderline. You want to make sure you're getting your items and you're not falling behind on items from buying wards too much. This yeah, game is it's mostly because I get camp all the time. I mean, that's fair. Games, I get camp a lot, so I'm always scared of. That's but fair. For me playing the, for the late game, it's mostly because I got the habit from the last season because last season was like, you're just late game and... Yo, I mean, this, this game is the, this season is the same. I, I get why you're playing I mean, for like it. Like when I played on PTS, I got traumatized from the tank rolling, like just going on me all the time. So I'm super scared. The thing is, and, when you're playing, if your team is playing grouped, like in these, those kind of games, there's a lot more grouping probably than in your ranked games. The tanks aren't as annoying because you have everyone around you. You get more free time to get off some autos. Um, that game, you weren't even getting bought by the tanks though. The Baka was your problem. He was eating your ass, literally. Like, it was getting clapped. Um, your, that last fight, the very last push, you fought into the Baka correctly. As soon as he was alt alt alting you, you started autoing him and you got your distance. When that's not a possibility, you need to be alting as the, his ult is flying through the air. That way you wait out his whole ult. You were Aegising it and then before you get in the air, you die. So that's like a little matchup thing that you need to learn. And that applies more like there's other gods than Baka that do the same shit to you. All right. There's other gods that like if that Shiva was having a good game, he could kind of hundred to zero you. So what you would do is you would alt his pull, right? It would be the same kind of reaction. You have to buy yourself time at the beginning of the fight to let everything establish and get yourself where you need to be. You pretty much just got fucked on by Baka when you got fucked on. Some of the fights, though, you ulted early, you positioned well, and then you would still play passive. That one fight around the beacon, they were all at one health, and you ran away. Yeah, I I kind of was, like, there was one alive, and I didn't know where it was, so I kind of was scared still. But I think he back, it was the Baka. Okay, so if you always play with, the, like, I could die mentality, or, you know, this might go wrong mentality, you can't learn. 
you have to like those are the kind of fights you need to go into see how they play out and then you'll be like all right i need to pay attention to that fourth person that i'm not sure where they are or you know getting those three kills is worth dying to that fourth person type of stuff you need to test those things you can't always be like i'm not going on that i, I could die because you don't know you don't actually know you could die you just think you could die so be yeah. a little more aggressive to learn your limitations for sure um your build was good also for the actives i kind of it's like a recent thing before for a long time i was used to not use my actives at all but recently i've been using them more often and that's the reason why i guess first when i get dive okay so but as rama nice. it's a, that's yeah, a matchup I, thing you have to learn though that's not like yeah. that's not a don't use your actives thing that's Aegis doesn't save you from someone like Baka. Aegis doesn't save you from these people who can continuously do that damage. But reverse is your ultimate buys you seven seconds. And you you need to take your time with your ultimate. A lot of the time you go up in your ultimate and try to fire right away. Don't do that. You've got time. Take your time to fire all three at a good pace. You know, shoot the first one. Give yourself a half a second to re-aim and see how they're moving and shoot the second one. Let that all be a time saver and just a time waster for them. Because you could waste that whole Baka ult every time. That should have been an obvious play. Like, Baka won't leave me alone. How can I react to this? You're playing Rama. You could just ult his entire ult, right? And if you waste a Baka ult, he's worthless. If Baka's ult doesn't get a kill, he is worthless. So those are the kind of things you have to apply. I mean, that goes for more hunters too. There's other hunters that could use the ult to get away, like Hachi. You could just waste a Baka ult by using a Hachi ult. It's not always the active that'll save you. A lot of the time it's the ult. And a lot of gods, that's what the ult is better for. Isn't necessarily getting a kill or, you know, doing some crazy play. It's just buying yourself more time, way more time. Uh, one of the, in the mid game. Oh, that's what it was. Your team was fighting at back camps. I, I'm, I don't know if you remember this. And you got to like the shield buff. They were fighting at you, the other team's back camps. It was kind of early, like level six, seven, I think. You rolled into them. Don't fucking do that. You're only oh, yeah, rolling yeah, in and using your movements when you know it's good for you. When it's 100%, this is, I'm getting a kill right here, right? Like, like that. You rolled in, your rolls down, your team walked past you, you died for your teammates. You can't die for your teammates in ranked. You cannot die for your teammates. Your teammates are irrelevant. They don't matter. You can't die for them, especially as a carry ever. Okay. So get that, like get that as a thought in the early and mid, you even talked about, you want to farm for the late game, right? You're worried about tanks. You need to get your items online. So don't fucking die for your teammates. Let your teammate, if they're out of position, you know, you can go hang around them and see if there's something you can do, but never ever die for them ever. Okay. Yeah, it Ever. always feels bad when that happened. I try, but I honestly thought that was kind of a decent fight there because Athena was behind. But okay, so yeah. let's say you're going into it and your your thought process is like, oh, we could win this fight. You still aren't using your movement. Your movement needs to be used to save you 99% of the time. And then when a fight has been won, it is used aggressively. You can't be rolling in before anything's really happened. It literally insta kills you for no reason. And that's just a minute of farm you lost for no reason. Yeah. And then you start relying on your teammates to keep you in the game, which is what happened that game. If your teammates weren't having good games, if they were doing neutral, you would have been in a really bad spot a lot of the game. So you need to take your time in terms of, you know, limit test and be aggressive when you can, but that's your teammates baiting you in. So take your time. Whenever your teammates are the reason you're fighting and it's not because you want to, don't overcommit ever. Um that that's our, it's kind of a lot of stuff it just kept a lot of recurring things there the things i talked about happened more than once so try to work on them uh do you have any other questions mm, yeah, no it should be fine thank you yeah no problem i think if you work on like two of those things three of those things i talked about and you start limit testing yourself and see how much damage you really can do you're gonna get to masters pretty quick but if you just keep playing to just exist for the late game you won't make it it won't happen because you you aren't carrying those games you're hoping you make it to late game to do your job because right now that's adc's job is hit late game you auto carry late game so it's not like a unique experience no other adc is gonna not do what you're doing you know what i mean so if everyone's making a late game then it becomes a whole different you know point on whether you win or lose those games so just try those things get yourself comfortable in the early mid game do you play any other gods like do you do you have like a set three gods yeah. that you play all the time well, I play Archimon, but I mostly ban him all the time. And uh, Heimdall. And that's okay. about it. Okay. So, I mean, you have a good, solid set of gods. So, I would just spam the hell out of those. 
the Hachi and the Haim, you could definitely be a lot more aggressive just off of natural play. The Rama is how confident you are in autoing people. So, you know, work on that. Work on poking when you play Rama and just see what you can do with it in the early mid game. Um, if you end up having more questions, you can just ask me in stream or whatever. But uh, yeah, right, GG's, brother. Thank you.